I don't believe this. I told that hard hit boy to put that hose away and cut that grass. So, working remotely in lockdown, I uh, haven't worked with any of my teammates face to face for ages. Uh, going a bit stir crazy here, but I've decided to break lockdown rules and I've invited a friend round to see me. And here he is. Say hi, Wilson. See? Yeah, there's Wilson. Wilson's going to help me on the job this week here. And uh, I think he's going to be some great company. What's that? Yeah, let's talk. Better go on with it. So, better crack on. These things don't test themselves. Catch us all later. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Wilson. Yeah, I'll cut the grass then, seeing as you won't do it.
This is an old phone I found kicking about the house and I recently cleared it. I thought I would include in this video as old tech seems to float my boss's boat. Released in January 1999, the Panasonic Model EB G450 was a pretty decent little phone. A good buddy of mine picked this up for me as he gets sick of always phoning my house and having my parents answer. Pay as you go, or top up, was a pretty decent thing and made mobile phones accessible for almost everyone. Before top up, you had to have a drug dealer salary just to afford a phone and a strong shoulder as the batteries came in handbags or satchels, just like Indiana Jones would wear. That's right Wilson, well done. This was actually my first phone, but we already established that. Come on, try and keep up now. Old mobile phones didn't come with any frivolities. Wi-Fi wasn't really popular enough back then, and if you asked someone about Bluetooth, they would have said they used Colgate or some shit like that. The antenna on this phone screwed out, and you could screw in a laser pointer, just like Star Trek phasers. Standby time is typically 85 hours or so, with about 4 hours talk time. There really wasn't much else you could do with the thing, other than call or text. Text messaging was free back in 1999, so that was my preferred method of communication. Hey Bobag, can you call me in the house phone as you have top up on your phone? Would be the usual standard message. Every case you bought for the phone came with a belt clip, like you see here. Uh, the belt clip worked quite well, and it had to, as the phone wasn't shockproof. <laughs> it wasn't even dustproof, so using it at a manky mate's house was a big no-no. Everybody who had a phone in the 90s had a case like this, 